Welcome to a video from digitalife.com. Matt on the road, but I did want to show this uh, Android 11 running on the original Surface Duo. So I have a Surface Duo 2, which has been running Android 11. So pretty much all the features on, um, on here, apart from hardware, like the camera and NFC, are here now on the uh, original Surface Duo. So I just thought I'd go through some of my highlights. Uh, I've got a blog post on this with all the details on. So the first setting I want to show you is auto spanning uh, applications. So previously on the Duo, um, on the original Duo on Android uh, 10, when you open an app, it just opened on the single screen. You could manually expand it and move it around. So say, you know, I like settings like that. You can manually make it go into dual screen mode by dragging it across like that. But um, on Android 11, you've now got the option of auto spanning applications. So I can choose through the list of applications uh, that I want, and I can then uh, say, uh, I put on there calendar is auto spanning, and I've done it for Outlook and a few others. So um, let me set it for, so let's, let's set it from say Microsoft Edge. So turn that setting on, that's enabled now for Microsoft Edge. I launch the application and it loads on both screens at the same time. And it sounds like a, no, so what, but it actually it's really handy, especially for some applications like uh, Calendar or a Mail app. So you've got your Mail app, I always launch my Mail app. If you've got another application open in one screen and then you launch it in dual screen and it's preset as dual screen, it doesn't close the other one, it just opens on that one screen. But if you've got no applications open, it, it fires up like that. So it's a brilliant way of just getting the app straight up there, dual screens, you've got that split mode. Uh, so that is definitely one of my favorite features. And for some applications like the camera, if you launch the camera in dual screen mode, you get a preview here on the left hand side. So if I take a photo, you'll see it fire up on the other side like that. So that is just like on the on the duo as well. So that's re a really good, um, a really good, handy tool when you're taking photos. That the preview there. Now it loses a bit of functionality because on the duo two you're taking with the rear-facing camera, and so you hold it like like that, and you've got the, you know, you've got your photo, your preview, you've got your preview there, and you've got your photos there. So with it being a front-facing camera, you've got to fold it round anyway to get the into camera mode so it's not quite as useful but anyway it's handy to have especially if you're doing something with the front facing camera in front of you. Another setting in that area as well is fall back on answer so uh, when you and the call comes in if you fold it back like that it answers the phone uh, which I think is a quite a nice little little feature. Also in here using dual screen on the uh, OneDrive app there is the edit button which now gives you the new editor, the same that's in the Duo 2 as well, which is uh, pretty good. It supports pen as well for doing editing your photos. So um, it's, a, it's a nice, easy way of uh, editing your photos and resizing that kind of thing using the dual screen mode. So that, that's a nice new feature. Now there's a lot of Android 11 features in there, in here as well, which um, little things like when you do the task switcher, uh, you've got the uh, screenshot button on there. Another one is if you hold down the power button and you get the Android 11 like smart home thing where you can do you can turn your lights on and off any of the smart home things Google Home connected and the power switches are on there as well and there's other things like the notification shades are in the Android 11 style and you've got the um, improved quick action settings and things like that are in Android 11 style. What I found as well is the gestures seem to be um, a bit more reliable. The whole thing feels nice and smooth. It's not draining batteries or anything like that. Um, having been on the Duo 2 for since October, it feels just exactly the same. So if you're a Duo 1 user, I think you should be pleased with this upgrade. Yes, you're not going to get NFC or a better camera or anything, but you're going to get smoother performance, some new features, minor changes but actually improve it. If you're a pen user it supports pen as well, tap to unlock as well or tap to open OneDrive with a Surface Duo 2 pen. So all nice little features 
there's not a massive amount of changes, but they're all subtle little things. All the Android 11 stuff you know, is a lot better as well. And I like the, the, the auto spanning and the improved camera app as well. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com.